Greetings gamers, and I guess more specifically Smosh fans and Smosh Games fans, because uh, you would probably be the ones interested in this news or following this story. But uh, recently there was a Variety article that came out about layoffs and, and office closing at Defy Media. Uh, basically what the article says is that a notice went out to employees, uh, which then Variety got their hands on saying uh, that the offices were going to shut down uh, on January 2nd and that all employees would be laid off, uh, which sucks because there's a lot of amazing people at Defy. Uh, that's where we shot the office that's shutting down is the one um, in Beverly Hills where we shot Smosh Games. That's the office you see in all the Smosh Games videos. Well, the more recent ones anyway. Uh, we had an old, old office, but so kind of bad news. And uh, and not just for the, the on-camera people you see, the Smosh Games crew and the, uh, and the, the Smosh main, but also all the behind the scenes people that kind of made it happen. The people that worked the cameras, edited the videos, made sure our sound was good. By the way, I fixed my sound for this video. Uh, so I'm sorry about the last video. And it sucks because you hate to see them out of work if that's what happens. Now, uh, I wanted to explain because I saw this article and I'm like, okay, this article says this, but also, uh, I, I mean, there's the things it's not saying, which is basically Smosh and Smosh games are very popular brands. So Smosh was bought by Alloy before it was ever Defy, it was Alloy, and then Alloy merged with Break to form Defy. And the reason they bought it was because, hey, this is an incredibly important brand. A lot of people care about this brand. You know, they have a history, they have fans, they have, you know, endless potential. And so I think it's highly unlikely that they're just going to shutter all that. If anything, they could sell the brand and, you know, have another company take over production and keep going that way, which would be great. Uh, still very scary for all the, the, the people on board over there at the office because whenever a new company takes ownership, you don't know who they're gonna keep, gonna let go if they have their own production teams. So yeah, I genuinely hope that someone buys them and then keeps everybody because like I said, it's a great team. Or uh, at the very least, I, I don't know much about business, but I think they could actually close the doors on Defy and like start a new business and then continue under that name might be a possibility too. Now, will there be some big changes? There might be. Starting in the new year, you might see some big, big changes. Could be more videos, could be less videos, new people coming in, new people people leaving. It could be a, it could be a, a crazy shakeup, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And uh, if you guys wanna see more news on this, I'd be happy to update you. And it is also worth noting that Defy has more than one office. So they're closing the Beverly Hills office, but they have one in New York and they have another one here in LA that I know about for sure. I wasn't, uh, I, don't, I, I didn't study the, the corporate structure that much, but I know at least two other offices existed and probably still exist. So we'll see what happens with that. Not only that, but we've also seen properties owned by Defy spin off and be successful, owned by uh, other companies. Screen Junkies got bought by Fandom. The Escapist got bought uh, by Enthusiast Gaming. So these other properties are still up and running, independent from Defy, which gives me a lot of hope that uh, even, if, even if Defy is no longer owning and controlling these brands that they will keep going in some form or another. So stay tuned, uh, we'll probably have more news, more updates on this later. Uh, if you guys wanna see it, if you don't, just leave it in the comments, just be like, uh, this is great, but you know, more gaming stuff, get back to that. Uh, less updates on what's going on with Defy and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Big thanks to my flamethrower and above level Patreon supporters. If you guys wanna find out how to become a Patreon supporter, you can go ahead and click uh, the link right over here. Or if you just wanna to sub to know when the next video is coming out, you can go ahead and click this link right here. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.